Hello and welcome to another segment of Credit Matters TV. My name is Mariana Zuluaga, Associate Director in the Structured Finance Team. I am joined today by Mauricio Tello, Senior Director, and we are going to talk about our most recent article in which we analyze the Colombian securitization market. Colombia has a small but successful securitization market concentrated on residential mortgage-backed securities. Until now, banks have generally not needed securitization to fund no new originations given their large customer deposit base. Also, the high liquidity and low interest rates have allowed banks to borrow unsecured at record low rates. However, economic and market conditions are changing, and S&P believes that securitization market has large potential. Mauricio, could you tell us how the Colombia securitization market begins? Colombia's securitization framework dates back to 1993. However, it was in 1998 and 1999 when the market really started to consolidate after one of the most important financial crises the country has had. By that time, the government found that securitizations could reduce financial risks by linking capital markets to credit markets. These transactions benefited from an income tax exemption until 2010, which we believe helped to increase significantly the volume of the transactions. Can you brief us on the main characteristics of this market? Historically, RMBS has been the largest and most frequently issued asset type. Between three and six new transactions are placed every year for around $200 million each. However, issuance decreased sharply in 2013 to only one transaction for just over $230 million. In our view, the reduced activity was mainly caused by the excess liquidity, the low interest rates in the local market, and the end of the income tax incentive for RMBS investors in 2010. It's important to mention that in general, all transactions have had a solid performance. Finally, what do we expect for this market in the future? In our opinion, the securitization market has a strong growth potential, as long as market conditions allow these type of instruments to help originators achieve their capitalization and funding needs. Credit penetration has been relatively low, but is now growing both for households as well as for the corporate sector. Other factors such as strong economic growth, rising interest rates, and the credit expansion could set the stage for future growth. Thanks, Mauricio. You're welcome. While securitization activity was low in 2013, this year Colombian Central Bank has increased its interest rates several times, a, posi a policy that could further continue. This rise could provide enough economic incentives for banks to resume their securitization programs, but on the other hand, could slow credit expansion. The Standard Poor's will continue analyzing the effect of the latest economic policies to continue provided more information of the market's development. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please read the full article at our website. Thanks.